translate in English so you can also understand because the most of the Thai they they practice or they know a lot about Dhamma already. So what is the aim of um, Dhamma or what is the aim of that what a monk do? You know it? <laughs> you can say something if you know. <laughs> No, I want to say, I can tell you. So you have to reach Nirvana. Also this, but in normal life, daily life, for what is it? Not only for Nirvana, to get a peaceful life, to understand each other, to have a life that is not with suffering. It's a life with happiness. It's a good life. So the way we practice is simple. Walking meditation and sitting meditation. This is um, in general, but if you if you would be with my master, he don't say we only practice like this. We practice in all in whole life, in a whole time. Now we can also practice by listening, practicing by sitting, practicing by knowing our breathing. And this is the way of practicing in daily life. What is, you have a job, right? Mm -hmm. You can also use this in your job. Do your job, but have have um, conscious in your in doing what you do. This is what my master teach us. He don't force each other to make this or make this. He say you have you can make you, that what you are doing. Nati pasangki pa Duty. Duty. duty, your duty. <laughs> your duty is Dhamma. Mm -hmm. If you have a kid, if you have a baby, <coughs> your duty is to take care for it. If you have a job, you have, your duty is to make your job best as you can. And how could you make it the best as you can if you have sufferings inside? Dhamma teach us to understand our sufferings and to be with your duty without suffering. So one of the good things is breathing. To teach, to see your breathing. Why is it important? Or why is it, is it a good thing? We always have to breathe. We don't breathe, we will die, right? So we breathe every second, every minute, every hour, every time. But we never have conscious in breathing. Never know, because it's a normal act, we think. But if we just train it one, two times a day, we see that um, it helps us in bad situations like you have a conflict with your boss or you have a conflict with your um, someone who works in your or with your wife or something like that. <laughs> it helps you in this situation. Sometimes go back to your breathing and make your um, thoughts clear. Sometimes in this moment our thoughts are not clear. In this moment we are um, the thoughts are mixed with anger, with anxious, or with scare, something like this. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. someti sometimes in this situation, if we train this, we will go back to our breathing automatically. Like, just take a deep breath, and then you see, okay, anger or um, to be bad with it won't help in this situation. It makes you peaceful in this moment. You, if you really train it like this, you will see that it helps really in many situations. So, in the past, I don't believe it. Also, I thought, uh, use your life like you can, full power. Go party, go clubbing, go have sex, and <laughs> this and that, this and that. But sometimes we don't have conscious what we are doing. I had a point when I had a conflict with my father when I was 13. I had it. It was so bad that um, I fight to, fought with him. But because of, of of my mind, it was not clear in this moment. It was mixed with anger. So this taught me that we can use it in also in daily life. That if something happens, that we come back to our breathing or come back to our mind to see what happens in this situation. So that is what. <laughs> so I was interested in that because I saw, okay, you can use life like before, but this is not like before. 
is mixed with this, what you're trained, practicing with Tama. Use your daily life, but have something that makes you con um, having conscious in this moment. Yeah. yeah, that's what I wanted to give you to the way. And just take some breath, breathing, and just know your breathing. And if you train it just one, two times a day, you will see that you come back automatically in some bad situations. In Poland, they also use this. Um, you know, the past of Poland it was very bad because of Germany and also the war and all like this. And before they shake hand to each other, uh, to someone else, they take a deep breath, like, and then they shake hand. It's like they um, build up their conscious in this moment or then to make yourself calm down or peaceful. So if you use this sometimes also, that helps off really good. Yeah. I finished my high school and then I started to become monk because um, I saw what my master do is a good thing, helps others and helps yourself also to understand your body, your mind in many situations. Also, if you have a body pain like illness or you feel not good because stomach itch or something like this, most of the time you don't understand why it happens. You just be with the, with the pain in this moment. Body pain is also mind pain in this moment. But if you train it, you will see that there are two different things pain of body mm -hmm. but no pain on mind if you train it you can see it there are two different things but at first no one see it because they want to <laughs> overcome <laughs> 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 it's really like this <laughs> that was a good example for <laughs> to see it <laughs> yeah if you don't understand it you will see you just see the should I try now? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's a good example. You think it helps? <laughs> you should have yourself. If it helps, I would do it now. <laughs> yeah, that was an um, example with my father. When I was 13, he punched me first. Because I had, we have a restaurant and I work there. Because um, the panagan, um, uh, the staffs were, um, were going to holiday to Thailand. So he he don't have someone who helps him. So I had to help him in this moment. But because I'm just a little kid and I I don't have experience in job, he was angry and then he punched me. But in this moment, I don't have conscious. It was like, and the moment he punched me, it was like painful for yourself also. <laughs> that was like body and mind was one thing. <coughs> and if you don't understand it, you want to overcome this feeling. How you overcome it? You want to run away or you want to make something that it doesn't happen. So I punched him back without without thoughts, you know. That was um, one point why I was interested in, in Buddhism. <coughs> because situations like this can happen many times. Can happen not only by punching, can happen by speaking too. You may be say something bad to someone and someone else will feel bad. <coughs> if you train it, you will have this not much, less, 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 until one point, nothing, zero. You just see that mm -hmm. it happens in daily life often. We don't. Uh, we we aren't with good people the whole time. <laughs> they are always bad because it has to be like good and negative always. But if you see it that everything is like this, you won't suffer. 
you just see and look and understand <coughs> everything. You understand? Okay, this part, this girl, this girl, this boy is bad, but it's not because of him. It's something that uh, makes him like this. I think at this moment you shouldn't be bad at him. You should understand him that he is bad because he cannot overcome his suffering in this moment. Yeah, it makes you think different than before. Like you see someone, you don't say, oh, bad guy, oh, he steals something from this shop. I don't want to talk with him. I don't want to speak with this, with this guy who is bad. But if no one helps them, how will, will the world be better if we don't help the bad people? <coughs> That's why I become monk also, because my master, he accepts every student. He accepts the people who, he, who went in prison, who went, who, who did drugs or had drugs. Someone like this is a very good teacher. <laughs> because other teachers, they cannot accept people like this. Very good. Eh? <laughs> good teacher. Quite <laughs> Okay, now <laughs> But this is a good example. If we don't see it by re by action, we cannot understand. Just listen is not a way to understand sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I think it's enough. Chant signs. I thought you can chant the prayers to see. So what I want to give you is just. Just look at breathing sometimes, that makes you calm down in some situations and makes you in daily life with more peaceful. So, thank you. <laughs>